Pantographs are a great way to introduce some new motifs into your quilting that you may not be able to do freehand. There are hundreds of pantograph designs to add to your quilting option. A pantograph was included with your handy quilter machine. Here are some examples of using pantographs on a whole cloth quilt. Pantographs are rows that you repeat down the quilt. This is a bunny quilt. Great baby quilt. It had the rows on this is about 8 to 10 inches. Here's another one with ducks. Now this one, the fabric is so busy, it's best to do a pantograph rather than doing custom quilting. To use pantographs, you'll want to roll the paper out on the back of the frame. The laser stylus should be installed on the machine. Blue painter's tape is a great tape for attaching the paper to the table. Determine where the pantograph will start and stop in your quilt. Create a 90 degree angle on the lowest point and the far right point. Draw a big circle on your start point. And then position your needle on your fabric in the same position. Position it in the corner. Then move your laser up to the start point. It's a good idea to finger trace the pantograph design so you know where you'll be quilting. Now bring up your bobbin thread and do some tie off stitches. Press the start button and start stitching. Follow the laser around the design as you come to the points. Bounce in, bounce out. Relax. Notice the nice fluid motion as you're quilting. Notice the nice fluid motion. If you need to stop, have the needle in the down position and then you can continue on as you go to the point, bounce in, bounce out. If you don't hit the line right off, don't worry about it. The pantograph doesn't go home with the quilt. Bounce in, bounce out. Look at the good sharp point. Now notice this one, this has a loop. If you anchor your elbows to your side, it gives you more stability so that you can avoid these loops. As you're quilting along, you'll notice that you'll need to stop, move your body, and then continue quilting. This gives you that nice fluid motion it's best to be standing in front of the machine rather than moving the machine along to the side. For more information about using pantographs, check out the videos and DVDs available on the Handy Quilter website.